Our first story may not directly involve Halloween, but uh, you will see some ghostly images. Blake Wiley always loved photography. But several years ago, he discovered a basic historic process called tintype. And uh, picture this. He loves to share this old-time adventure with visitors. While Blake Wiley's day job is in the tech industry, All right. he's always had a sideline love for Five, photography. Three, three. First film, then digital, but later in 2005, Blake began to focus on a photographic process that's more than 170 years old. I had been researching and known about tintypes before I saw a guy doing the process. And I think the, the term was, if you like history, if you like, you know, working with dangerous chemicals, then, and I was like, well, this is, this is for me, let's do it. Cheaper than its predecessor, daguerreotype, tintype was a more affordable medium for 19th century family portraits. You've probably seen them in antique stores. Matthew Brady was a tintype pioneer credited with capturing Civil War era pictures, including this one of General Ulysses Grant, and even this famous photo of President Abraham Lincoln. Well, these days, Blake welcomes curious clients into his home studio, ready to have their image captured with this vintage process. For many, it's the nostalgia and being part of such a non-digital adventure. There's a bit of a yearning, I think, in people for the old stuff, the old ways, right? Analog, you've got the record stores that are really popular today. It's very similar, right? You've got this very analog process that is, you know, and you actually get to hold something that is the actual, you know, picture that was taken. That's something that's gonna last for generations and it can be passed through your family and or it may end up in an antique store itself one day. This camera though is, is a large format camera, eight by 10. It's a Century Studio camera. Very beautiful wood camera I got from a guy up in New York. The lens I use also is, is essentially an antique lens as well. The depth of field is very narrow on the process. I mean, I can use, sometimes I'll, I'll take a photo and I can get somebody's nose out of focus and their eyes in focus and uh, you're, when you're really close. So you have to, you know, it, it's something where you're under the hood you know, under the dark cloth, and you're, you're, everything's upside down and reversed. And so you're having to look at each focal point and, and get this everything in focus as much as you can. Before using the camera, though, Blake has to prep the metal plate, which will become the actual picture. Trophy aluminum is what it is. You have to have a black background for the portrait, for the, for the picture to be taken on. And we pour the film on the actual plate. Come on in. Have a seat right here. All right. Well, today in his studio, Blake's subjects are Jason and Jenna Fessler. And the first order of business here is setting up this enormous light. That's because Tintype likes lots of light. All right, just some focusing. Then the couple will need to stay still for the critical following step. It's the focusing that's really the, the the key piece. So if, if somebody moves, even just by a little bit forward or backwards, they're going out of focus. And I can't see that after I put the plate in the camera. So I can't see that they've moved. So there are some times where somebody's out of focus and I may have to redo it. All right, one, two, three. Good job, guys. You can move and relax. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna put that right there. Finally, it's off to the dark room for developing, fixing, and varnishing the plate. And alas, the couple's vintage tintype photo is good to go. For the, for the people that come in, I really, really try to make it an immersive experience. So they get to see the, see the process. I walk them through, tell them about the history. I get to show them. They get to smell everything as well. The chemicals, and, and I'll have people come in, and they're like, this smells like my high school darkroom, you know, uh, when they were still doing darkrooms in high schools and colleges. Now, this story's not about me, but Blake insisted who knows, maybe I'll wind up in an antique store someday. A little dramatic lighting, if you don't mind. I love it, dramatic <laughs> lighting. One, two, three. All wow. right, now you can move. <laughs> and what an incredible experience. But before leaving, I had a question for Blake. In those old tintype portraits, why did people never smile? I think it was, you know, they're, they're, it's a new process. They don't understand. There's not this, you know, the selfie you know, environment that we have today. But 
it, it was a very new thing and they were used to seeing portraits, painted portraits and people that were very still and they were really, you know, that, it, it was really a continuation of that in a way. Anyway, Blake Wiley has a lot to smile about, enjoying his high-tech day job while pursuing this low-tech craft in the timeless world of tin time. It's, it's kind of an honor for them to, to allow me to take their image like that because yeah. it's, it's a slow process, it, the way the process is, you know, the engagement. Um, and the fact that they get to place this in their homes and enjoy it for generations even. Hey, how'd you like the story? We'd love to hear from you in the comments. If you enjoyed it, we have a lot more where that came from. Here's one you might like. And please click here to subscribe so you'll know when we premiere new videos. Thanks for watching.